I'm putting together this quick video, hopefully it's quick, to kind of show you around the course a little bit. So hopefully you're familiar with HawkNet and we're going to click online classes and it will come up to something that looks like this. So scroll down to where you see Fall 2016 and this is one of the hybrid classes. So click on PHS 120 and just kind of starting over here on the left, it says Course Home, and it says Physics, it says Unit 1 Physics, Unit 2 Chemistry, and of course we're going to do Astronomy, Weather, and Earth Science. So uh, I can click on Week 1, and under Week 1 then is Lesson Assignment Discussion in Laboratory, and I want to talk a little bit about each one of those. If I click on Lesson, you're going to see that uh, lessons are where I post my videos and there's two types of videos there's just the regular video and then there's the video with questions and I'm going to try to be obvious when it has questions you're going to have to look at that for credit when it doesn't have questions it's just there to kind of relay the material to you so uh, this one actually week one has questions and when I get this video done it's going to appear right there. Now my questions are actually, um, just kind of work with me if you have any questions, we're going to do this actually on our first lab. Um, so I'm going to go to assignment and here we have your first assignment for your first lab, wait, for, for your first week is we're going to actually do your assignment in lab time. If you read the instructions it says to answer these five questions and put them in the Dropbox. I just want to kind of show you where the Dropbox is. It's over here along the top. It says Doc Sharing Dropbox. There's the Dropbox. I think what I would suggest is, I don't know if you're familiar with copy, I'm going to go ahead and, and scroll down and copy that. Okay. Copy. Do right click. Do a control C. And then I'm going to go over to Oh, there's my copy. I'm going to go over to what did I say, Dropbox. And now I'm going to submit an assignment. Click Submit Assignment. And then I have to pick a basket. So I, if I pick on here, please select my basket is Intro Welcome Assignment. So I click there. And remember, I copied the questions. I kind of cheated, so I'm going to do uh, paste, oops, this one, paste, and so these are the questions that you're supposed to answer. What's your name? So I say Elizabeth, and I answer these other questions. Now, uh, when I'm ready to submit it, it says submit assignment and actually then it will show up in my inbox and I will grade it and spit it back to you. So your first question, video question, is where do I submit my assignments? Moving on, if I go back under week one, I have assignment, now I'm going to click on discussion. So there's a discussion for each week. The word discussion is a little bit misleading. I don't want you necessarily to discuss, but you only have to post once an answer. And this is kind of a weird discussion. Notice for this, for week one, I want you to go out on the internet, do your skills or magic there, and come up with uh, six websites. Just do your best. If you come up with five, that's not the end of the world. But I want you to come up with websites that show current articles in physics, chemistry, astronomy, weather, and earth science, and actually one is the role of science in society. So see what you can do with that. Now, for discussion questions, you post them like this. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Respond. Okay. So I'm going to say this is my links. You could call it whatever you want to. And then this is where actually I probably will use multiple tabs. I'll go out find a site I want to and I paste it here. Find those six sites, paste it here. I'm going to put websites. Oops, can't spell. And then I'm going to say post. And voila, it has posted. So you're done. Now the question I'm going to ask here in a minute is, well the answer to the question is you only have to post once. It's not really a discussion. You only have to post once in the discussion of the week and to get full credit. So how many times do you need to post? All right, so moving on, I have laboratory here. 
Now, laboratory for week one, honestly, is what you're doing right here. You're getting full credit just by going through this, with this lesson. Um, so, laboratory, there's nothing for you to do. Actually, all of the laboratories, you just show up and I put in your credit for showing up on a Thursday evening between from 5.30 to 7.30. All right. So I want to show you something. Now notice I cl if I click on Unit 2 Chemistry, it's going to show me that actually it's locked out. It's not available yet because we haven't gotten there yet. And I can click on Week 7, same thing. I can't see anything, all right? So I'm going to go back up to Course Home, and it's going to bring up what's called the Course Home page. Now notice there are three columns. The first column is the Twitter feed related to this class. The middle column is miscellaneous websites and the last column is my science Twitter feed. I want to scroll on down past those and here we have a week, we have what, say what's new? A checklist, course checklist. I'm going to ask you a question about course checklist here in a minute. The answer is course checklist. So if you click here, course checklist, you can see uh, when things are due. Okay, it's great. I like it. And you can actually go straight to them from here if they're open. So here is your, this is this can be a very good tool to, tool for you. So my question right now is, and third and final question of this video is, where is one way anyway right now I can go to see my course due dates? All right, now I kind of want to finish up talking about some of these tabs along here. Gradebook is obvious. That's where I'm going to start populating uh, your grades. Notice that when I grade something, you can actually click on it and you can see my comments. Uh, email, it's kind of handy. It's kind of self-explanatory. It's a way that you can get to me. You can email me and you can email other students. Uh, doc sharing is kind of handy. That is actually where I can push out documents to you, and I sometimes will say, check doc sharing. The Dropbox we talked about, that's where you're putting your assignments. Webliography is where we can post uh, websites, and it has a pretty decent tech support, so feel free to use that if you need to. I'm going to go back to Course Home and kind of leave it on that page. So, uh, bottom line, there's kind of a quick spin around the course.